The 20th reunion for the class of 1994 will always be remembered as a special one. It is fitting on the day of your 20th class reunion that you are gathered here to remember one of your own. One that honored their former classmate, Sergeant First Class Jared Monty. So I'll be there in 10 minutes. I'm still on a move. Monty was killed in action in 2006 as he tried to save a fellow soldier from enemy fire in Afghanistan. He tried three times. Jared Monty did something no amount of training can instill. His patrol leader said he'd go, but Jared said, no, he is my soldier. I'm going to get him. Monty was posthumously awarded the first Medal of Honor in Massachusetts since Vietnam. It is the nation's highest military honor. Compassion, perseverance, strength, a love for his fellow soldiers. Those are the values that defined Jared Monty's life and the values he displayed in the actions that we recognize. The class of 1994 worked with BR school administrators to find a fitting tribute for Jared. It is our honor to name the gym after a graduate of the class of 1994. Alfinian is have a gymnasium named after Jared. Anyone who knew Jared knew that basketball court was his favorite place to be. Jared came into the court of the driving force, and it was the same Now, the school's gymnasium will bear his name and his story. In the end, in the final few minutes, he was faced with a task where he had to make a choice. And for that task, he tried his hardest to save another soul. And for that task, he never gave up trying. And for that task, he looked out and saw the right thing to do. So I haven't seen you in a while. Though he is gone, Jared Monty's spirit lives on through his family, his friends, his academic home, and his life's motto. Always try your hardest. Never give up. And do the right thing in life. He was the kid at school who upon seeing a student eating lunch alone, would walk over and befriend him. He was the teenager who cut down a spruce tree in his yard so a single mom in town would have a Christmas tree for her children. He even bought the ornaments and the presents. He was the soldier in Afghanistan who received care packages, including fresh clothes, and gave them away to Afghan children who needed them more. I have that tremendous feeling of pride, but I still can't get over not having my son, because I would give all of this up, all of it, everything, just to have him back, just to be able to, just to be able to hug him one more time. Um, mm -hmm.